going on, everybody? It's your boy Marcus Silvey, baby spoon in hand. I just got off of work, so pardon the mess. I got two. Somebody was checking on me. Uh, I got two hot sauces I have never seen before from Publix in Rainbow City, Alabama. Jamaican Scotch Bonnet, uh, which is uh, very similar to your uh, Habaneros, brother and sister, you know. Um, Scotch Bonnets tend to have a more of a fruity flavor, or so I'm told. I'm not, you know, too certain on that, but I, from my research, it does Walker's Wood. Walker's Wood Hot Jamaican Scotch Bonnet Pepper Sauce. Use sparingly with soup, stews, and rice dishes. This hot yet distinctly flavored sauce has an unmistakable aroma. Scotch bonnet peppers has become a staple in Jamaican cuisine. The sauce should be used sparingly and can enhance almost any savory dish. Shake well. Hey, what's up, buddy? I don't, brother. I'm uh, sitting here doing a video, man. Appreciate it. Bye, right, brother. Man, have a nice day. No, you, you too. No, I don't smoke, brother. All right, man. That's what you get for sitting in a parking lot in Gaston, Alabama. It's crazy. Anyway, ingredients water, scotch bonnet, peppers, vinegar, modified cornstarch, blah, 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 blah. Just random stuff. Product of Jamaica. Manufactured in Jamaica. It's legit. Your Caribbean kitchen. Let's go ahead and try this. Go ahead and open it up and try it. Give you a little review while I'm opening it up and telling you all about the next one. Let me go ahead and make sure I shake this good. Okay, no restrictor on here. That's cool, that's cool. Get the baby spoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Instant heat on the tongue and back of the throat. Very, very seedy. A lot of big seeds in that. It's a warm sauce. It's a very warm sauce. Instant heat. Um, sorry. I'm looking weird at the phone here. I'm getting messages popped up. Very good sauce. Um, it's not as fruity. and I've had much better sauces on the uh, Habanero Scotch Bonnet level. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. The heat is good, but flavor is pretty bland. All right, this. I don't know what's gotten all over this, but there is something sticky on it. This is Nando's Peri Peri Sauce XX Hot. I'm guessing it's one of the hottest ones from uh, Nando's Peri Peri Sauce. It is made. I'm not going to read all this stuff, but... It is made with African bird's eye chili. I think it also has uh, something other, something else in it. But that's going to be the heat, what the heat comes from. And I looked it up, it's 175,000. Okay. Yeah, y'all know the name, y'all know the heat that's in it. This has got some seeds and stuff in it too. It looks a lot like that. That burn's already dying down. Um, it wasn't that bad. Now, it was an instant little heat burn. I mean, it was it kind of caught me off guard, but the flavor wasn't all that good. I'm kind of disappointed in it. Um, I can't remember that other uh, habanero sauce. I think, oh, tabanero. That's one of, for, uh, that's one of my favorite uh, habanero type organic sauces. And it tastes way better than that Jamaican Scotch bonnet. It's not awful, don't get me wrong, but it's just not as good as I thought it would be. Decent little throat and mouth burn, though. I'm already subsiding. It brought me up to about a three, maybe. Let's 
see it on there. Okay. That is very unique. Nowhere near as hot as that. That's a, you taste the salt right away and there's another flavor I can't peg. What it is, it's, it's pretty good. I don't know. Got garlic puree in it. Green chili. Water vinegar spices, African bird's eye chili, cayenne pepper, and paprika. Those are the three. Which paprika? I you know. I don't know scale, but cayenne and African bird's eye. It's very unique. It's got a very unique flavor. I can't describe what it is right now, especially after tasting that habanero. I mean, uh, Scotch bonnet. But that is not bad. It's non GMO, gluten free, verified. That, I don't know what you exactly you put it on, but. It's definitely got a use because it's it's unique. Um, more a little bit more on the salty side. Um, this heat was much more, but the f the flavor of it was just bland and very seedy. Anyway, roll on to the house, get out of this parking lot before we have anybody else roll up on us. I hope y'all. Had a wonderful day, and y'all have a wonderful night. Marcus Silvey's Baby Spoon out.